66 on my podcast today. Um, I hope everyone's doing well this week. Uh, today it's a Wednesday afternoon. Uh, today on my podcast today. Um, I'm hoping you guys are all doing well today. And uh, I hope everyone's um, enjoying today's weather at the moment. And um, I hope you all hear about the news about um, Dangerfield. Um, he, he's possibly going back to Adelaide Crows to finish his career. Um, he doesn't know what he's going to do with that um, perspective. Um, I hope he finishes his career at Adelaide with the Adelaide Crows um, for the season because he's getting old now. Um, if Geelong don't win the Premiership this year, he'll go to Adelaide and finish their career with them because um, Roy Swain's now retired. Um, that could be a good fitting for him as well. So uh, it'd be good to see Dangerfield in Adelaide close as well for next year. And the other news is, um, yeah, um, there's not much to say about the news at the moment. Um, Draper could be returning um, for for the Bombers. Um, Bulldogs are not looking good at the moment because of the. Um, they've lost a few games. Um, we don't know about uh, Luke Beveridge, if he's going to resign with the club or go to another club. And um, yeah, that's all at the moment at the news front at the moment. And uh, we've got some games coming up this week. Round nine. Uh, there's not many rounds left to go because finals is coming up soon. So every team needs to. Uh, show some game, some game time, and um, yeah, because it's not long until finals now. <clears throat> and then straight after that, would be basketball for me. So we've got Carlton on Thursday night at the MCG. Carlton versus Melbourne at the MCG. And then we've got two good clubs here um, Geelong and Port. Um, Port have got injuries, I don't know who they're going to bring back, um, we'll find out hopefully uh, today or tomorrow, so who we find out who they bring into the team, um, yeah, clearly Port, I don't know who they're going to bring back for that game against Geelong in G Murray Stadium, and Ackley is playing against his former club since he got traded from Geelong, so... Uh, best of luck for you, and Geelong uh, have got a couple of injuries, I think, for memory, I think, for Dangerfield as well. We don't know when he returns back to the club on Friday afternoon, that, that's at 5.10 at Geelong, and then straight off, while that game's still on, uh, you'll have the Frio versus Sydney Swans, um, clearly we're not favourites for that one against the Swans. Um, we've won them twice in our previous times by a close one. Uh, yeah, so we've won them twice. They've won. They've won us a couple of times against us and overseas. So <clears throat> it's looking alright, but we're gonna find out who we bring into the uh, team for this week. Hopefully, we get some de more debutants this week against the Swans. Um, they're in a hot performance at the moment with Isaac Kinney, um, they got Grundy, they've got um, Tyler Adams, they've got um, there's some good players and I'm hearing that um, Joel Hamlin could be playing for them too so if he's injured um, he could um, come to the club and help us out, help um, Sydney out, um, he could play out I'm hearing so I don't know if that's true or not. And um, that's the Friday night game against Adop the Stadium. <coughs> then Saturday we've got Hawthorne versus St Kilda in Tassie. And then we've got Bombers versus uh, Giants. That's going to be a, a very good contest. Two hot Foreman teams coming out really hot. That's at Marvel Stadium at 2.35. Then we've got Gold Coast versus North Melbourne. Um, clearly, Gold Coast are going to be pretty much winning 
this one against uh, North Melbourne because it's in Darwin and every time Gold Coast play over there they always like to decide to win over there so so best of luck Gold Coast Richmond and North Melbourne are uh, not North Melbourne our uh, Bulldogs um, correction with that uh, Richmond just come off a loss against Fremantle at the MCG uh, and Bulldogs come off a loss so yeah these two clubs have got injuries as well so that's going to be a toss up one kind of thing up and down at the moment uh, Richmond have got a lot of players out Bulldogs have got a couple of players out as well and then looking into Sunday's game we've got Sunday uh, at 11 o'clock a.m. Uh, this is the first time ever to see these two clubs at Marvel because it's normally at the MCG. Collingwood versus West Coast. Collingwood are easy favourites, $1.11 to West Coast to $6.70. Uh, these two clubs go back to when 2018 was, back when Optus Stadium was uh, opened. Uh, these two clubs go back when the grand final was at the MCG, so. Uh, they've got a, both of these two clubs have got injuries and Holly Reid could be leaving West Coast um, I'm hearing he could be going back to Victoria so and then we've got Adelaide versus Brisbane um, yeah these are looking really alright for this year but they might be improved for next year um, Adelaide it's in Adelaide Oval, so Adelaide will be favourites as well. So Adelaide are playing, paying actually one dollar sixty six, while Brisbane are two dollars twenty three at Adelaide Oval. So that's a Sunday afternoon game. So that won't be on televised. Um, Collingwood and Eagles game will be televised on Sunday on Mother's Day. Um, I'll keep an eye on the scores as well while I'm watching the Waffle W. Um, game down at Fremont Oval, Fremont Oval on Sunday. Um, I'm going to see my mum on Friday. Um, we got plans now on Friday instead of Sunday on Mother's Day. So, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to the game on for the Waffle W on Sunday uh, for the East Fremantle uh, to ask the coach if I can ask if I can get some of the East Fremantle girls on my podcast. On Sunday and um, yeah so I will talk to you all about um, this weekend round uh, tomorrow who's coming in who's coming out uh, for the round and um, they've just announced the, the indigenous jerseys for for the AFLs on the AFL shop as well so make sure you buy one for the, uh, for the round 10, 11, uh, that's when the teams will be wearing them for the Indigenous round. And um, yeah, and Sydney will be flying to Perth uh, later this afternoon, around about 3, 3.30 today at the airport. And then they've got an opening training tomorrow. Fans can go there to, to the grounds tomorrow between 10.30 to 11.45. Um, there's going to be autographs there and um, players and all that so um, you can it's free at tree uh, you can go and see um, some of the players there and um, yeah let's hopefully we can get a win hopefully on the scoreboard and um, yeah we need to find some ways that we can um, the government needs to pull their finger out and do something about this racism shit with the teams and all that and um, with the ACL and all that it's it's yeah not good to see players good players to retire immediately like Hamish Brayshaw did last year and um, and uh, Andy Brayshaw uh, yeah the guy from Melbourne to retire because the head knock um, they need to do something about it it's not good uh, we've seen a lot of good players retire because of that. Uh, I know we've got new ownership for the AFL. It needs to do something with it. And um, 
Yeah, it's just getting a load of rubbish with all this crap, with this um, AFL getting um, snobbed and all that, so they need to do something about it. Um, we hate seeing players injured with ACL or a cast or anything above that, so AFL, you need to do something about it or it's going to get worse and worse and, and then people will stop watching footy non-stop. So, AFL and management, you need to do something about it. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you guys get uh, to watch this and uh, to know what I'm understanding about this AFL. Cause it's, it's a load of rubbish about this Kakash and all that. So, um, please make sure you watch this and um, share it to everyone. Um, we just want it to be spread out more. And, um, yeah, let's go Freya.